Oh. I've always thought I was a rational person. I was convinced that I had everything under control. Academics, relationships, emotions. But when I moved to Armenia for college, I found myself in a weird situation. I was faced with a challenge that was above my limit. New place, new people, academic pressure, and high expectations from everyone around me. Now, something about human beings. We all feel terrified when we lose control. Oh. <laughs> and that's exactly how I felt at the time. I didn't know what to do this with these feelings. So I figured I can just organize my mind inside of a Google Calendar. I couldn't put it all in a planner. So instead, I would just bottle it up over and over again. Apparently, the volume of the bottle has its limits. And that's when the explosion happened. Your feelings eventually come out in uglier ways if you suppress them. So I felt horrible, and I didn't know what to do. Yeah, all this anxiety. <laughs> that I'm feeling right now. <laughs> so, you might be asking yourself the same question I was asking myself back then. What do I do with all of those emotions? How do I empty the bottle before it explodes? My answer to that was art. I started writing songs, and it became my coping mechanism. I realized that through the language of art, you're able to see your emotions clearly. Imagine that your brain is like a knot, a tangled string. The process of making art is you untangling it. And once you're done, you see a straight line in front of you. And you know exactly how you feel and what made you feel this way in the first place. Try this for yourself and see that it actually gets better. When control is lost, creativity is found. Have you ever noticed that the most iconic art pieces ever made were created by people who clearly didn't keep a Google Calendar? <laughs> There's a whole movement in visual arts called expressionism. It's people painting their feelings instead of saying out loud how they feel. Take Edward Moon, for example. The screen was a result of the anxiety and fear he felt while taking a walk one day. Art is also used in therapy. There's a whole term for it, art therapy. There are different types even. Dance therapy, music therapy, expressive therapy, and many, many others. Why does it work? It's because through the process of art making, you relieve both physical and mental tension that has been up bottling up inside you. Art is also a great alternative to just talking about it. Sometimes, I don't feel comfortable sharing my emotions. That's also the case for people from oppressive environments, such as your household or your country. In times of oppression, war, and uncertainty, art becomes the main tool of expression for people as well as their main weapon. So an example of that could be non-conformist artists in the Soviet Union. They would create hidden exhibitions where they would display paintings showing their emotions, trauma, <laughs> and sharing their political opinion, of course. So that's how they were coping with everything that's happening. What's your method? Next time you feel overwhelmed, try using art to help you. There's this one technique that I want to share with you. You draw a random line on a piece of paper, and then 
and places where it overlaps, in those sections, you use colors and different patterns to fill it in. So that way, you can actually express how you're feeling. You could put some symbolism into it, make it meaningful for yourself, or you could just leave it as it is. It works anyway. So for me, that's been the mechanism I've been using this whole year. I've been drawing those doodles everywhere. And remember how I said that art is the language of your emotions? Well, apparently, my mind is trying to tell me that I care too much sometimes. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> I've been drawing those doodles everywhere. I think one of the best examples of how I cope with anxiety is my TEDx preparation notebook. I remember drawing this in October thinking, oh wow, I'm never going to make it. But I'm here now. So how did I do it? In one of the songs I wrote, there's a line. I'm falling apart to become someone. When I wrote it down, I realized that I can only move on after I face my feelings. There's no development in self-hate and ignorance. That's why you need to express yourself, express how you feel, no matter what language. Yeah. <laughs> so, to sum it all up, we're all human, we all feel, and we don't have to pretend like we're fine all the time. And remember to feel, not suppress, practice art therapy, and master the chaos. Thank you, and good luck.